Hey everyone, I am really excited about this project. This has to be my most popular project I make. I got the design for my Grandpa A and modified it slightly for what I have. He would use scraps of wood and old saw blades to make his, and I use wood scraps but extra metal that I always have lying around, so I'm sure you can find it easily too. Therefore, without further ado, let's get after it. I wanted to show you the simplicity of the design and give you the general scale so you can either make your own by taking a screenshot, printing it scale, or just freehanding these parts. The first step is to transfer the template to the wood scraps. You can use wood or plywood. We now need to cut them out. I typically use my jigsaw for this, but could also use my router with a straight bed. I've used these as nice decorations around the house, but also as gifts to my mom and mother-in-law as ways to remember their grandkids. That is, for each grandkid they have, I gift them a flower. However, the possibilities as occasions for these to be given are endless. Have fun. The metal I love using for these, because I always have them around, are these six inch garden stakes for the stem and recycled lawn sign stakes for the base. That is, go grab these signs after elections, uh, rip off the candidate, but keep that metal because these things are meant to go in the ground. So it's perfect metal uh, that can be used for these. And you can have them plenty of flowers because you're not using that long pieces. You can then saw off your desired links, such as you can get three quarters to one inch of metal into the wood. And again, you can see the rough size and scale of my design with the rulers, how I have them laid out here. We now need to drill holes to insert our metal pieces. You can pause the video to see exactly how deep I plan to go, but again, it's three quarters to one inch into it. Make sure not to use too large of a bit, but you want a tight fit, but it doesn't have to be perfect because ultimately we're gonna be gluing these metal pieces in for durability. And after gluing, it's time to finish. As with any outdoor wood project, either take inside during the winter, protect it with poly, or just expect deterioration with time. But I've had mine last for years when we take them inside in the winter or protect them uh, from direct sunlight or elements, basically putting them right next to the house. So again, I love this project. Hope you do too. Comment on what you think and share ideas for other easy wooden flowers that you've seen or made. Thanks for watching. Until next time.